up everyone welcome back to another episode of the venom vlog and today we're actually not focused on venom at all uh, we're going to talk about morbius because like i said we had to cut down some shows on the channel and i can't really you know even though i'm still recording this um you know it's like i don't want to do multiple venom shows or venomverse shows like we were doing um i just want to keep everything kind of streamlined and on one channel so uh or one you know one show at least so i can just keep up with one show don't have to do too many intros and all that just trying to simplify things for right now so hopefully you guys are okay with that but on this episode, we are not going to talk about Venom. Uh, we are going to talk about Morbius because there's been a ton of casting news about this over the past like month and a half that I actually two months now that I have been way behind on because I've been sick and because of other things. So we're going to go through here um, some of the updates and I'll put links to all these articles down below as always. Um, but uh, first thing I want to talk about is uh, Ar Adria Arjona. And she was in early talks a while ago, but it looks like she's officially been cast to play Martine Bancroft. And uh, she is basically the love interest of Dr. Michael Morbius, who's gonna be played by Jared Leto in this movie. And uh, Michael Morbius, he was a scientist who was suffering from a rare blood disease, and he experimented on himself to uh, basically cure himself. And I think that was also to be with the woman he loved, because I think they were engaged or something like that in the comic books. I'll be honest with you, my history of Morbius is not that in depth. I know he first appeared in Amazing Spider-Man issue 102, so that kind of makes him fit in with this Venom shared universe thing because he's another character that appeared in Spider-Man um, that got his start there uh, and was like a villain who kind of becomes kind of an anti-hero. So uh, I kind of like that. My first exposure to Morbius was in the 90s with this right here, Morbius number one, which was the Midnight Suns crossover with the Ghost Rider from the 90s, which is Dan Ketch. Uh, who is still my favorite Ghost Rider. Uh, but I like a lot of the other ones, obviously. Uh, but this one, it was like six issues. This one is still sealed, and it has like a rare poster in it. And if you put all the posters together, um, you make like a big, you know, it's like all the little mini posters. Put them all together, it makes a big image. Um, I have that somewhere because I bought two of each one of these, one to open and one to keep sealed. So this is my sealed one. Still has the Ghost Rider cover on it, uh, around it. Um, but that was my first exposure to Morbius. And then soon after, a couple of years later, I think he showed up on the Spider-Man animated series. And I liked him because they immediately tr treated him as an anti-hero on that show. Uh, but he is a very tragic character in my mind. Uh, being a vampire, it's a very different look at being a vampire. Uh, it's very scientific based, which is kind of cool. And I've seen, you know, we've seen that in other movies like underworld they, they touch on mythological like uh, reasons for vampires but there's a little bit of science to it in their tech um and then same with blade there's you know like scientific ways he deals with some of the vampires with the exploding serum and stuff and all that um so pretty fun stuff but uh but morbius is kind of approaching it from a purely scientific uh standpoint i don't think there's a lot of mystical stuff in the approach to vampires in this uh so morbius has a rare blood disease he tries to cure himself and it goes wrong and the experiment goes wrong and so um you know so i guess she's going to be playing she's a uh, going to be playing the role of uh, miss bancroft and so that'll be interesting to see in the movie obviously the film is being directed by uh, daniel espinosa who directed the movie life who which i think is funny because a lot of people were thinking that that could be a prequel that that was john jameson finding the alien symbiote and bringing it to earth Man, oh man, I'm sure if Sony could go back in time and redo that, they probably would, because that would have been amazing to see, like, uh, you know, Jake Gyllenhaal playing John Jameson, uh, and then now going to play Mysterio, and then crash landing on Earth uh, with the symbiote and it escaping, and then the Venom movie opens up with the crash to Earth, uh, and then you find out Jameson's still alive or something, you know, whatever they did. So, yeah, that would have been really cool, in retrospect, obviously, right? We all wish we could have done that. But it looks like they're, they want that director to play in the sandbox of uh, shared universe Venom stuff. So that's still cool that he got that job. So he's going to be directing it, um, and then also it's by a script by Burke Sharpless and Matt Sazama. Uh, they are going to be the ones who write the script. They were the team that created the Netflix Lost in Space show with the remake, which I still have not seen, but I've actually heard really good things about it. And Arjona, she was a uh, she played Dorothy in that Emerald City show that was on NBC not too long ago. Um, and then she was in um, uh, Six Underground and Triple Triple Frontier, uh, which is coming out soon. Six Underground reminds me of a, a song, though. I think there was a song called Six Underground uh, by like a trip hop band. Uh, I don't remember. Uh, but anyway, so I'm just ranting now. I'm tired. I've, I've filmed a lot of videos today, so hopefully you guys are, are digging them. But now we're over to the rap. Uh, Jared Harris has also joined the cast of uh, Mor uh, Morbius. Um, I don't know if they've kept his roles being kept under wraps. I think he's like a mentor type. Um, he's a great character actor. You've, I'm sure you've seen him a thousand times in a bunch of stuff. Um, but uh, he will appear in the movie, and I think he's going to be uh, 
you know, kind of like a mentor type. I think that's the rumor right now. I don't know for sure, but it looks like that that might be the case. Uh, obviously, Avi Arad and Matt Tolmak are going to be producing, along with Lucas Foster and Palak Patel, who are overseeing it from the studio's standpoint. So, um, yeah, so he's kind of like vampire. He's a pseudo-vampire, I guess is the best way to describe Michael Morbius, because once this, he's experimenting with bats um, and, like, vampiric-like bats, and what happens is, is uh, you know, the experiment goes wrong and he gets mutated. And it looks like he might not be the only one mutated. Uh, that's the big reveal that uh, I saw recently was that um, they added Matt Smith to the cast. And Matt Smith uh, looks like he's going to be playing the villain of the story um, who goes by the name uh, Losian or L Loxian or something like that. I don't know if how they pronounce the X. Um, but uh, this character is kind of a newer character. I think he came out in the 90s, uh, like after this run. I think he also appeared first in a Spider-Man comic, maybe like issue 76 or somewhere around there. Um, so I remember his, uh, oh, Loxius. Uh, Lo Loxius Crown uh, is the character's name. And Crown is a former friend of Mobius, uh, Morbius who also suffers the same fate, uh, same blood disease. So it looks like maybe in this movie they're going to do it to where it's two friends who uh, who found each other through science, you know, maybe two scientists that find each other by working on similar projects and they're like, hey, maybe if we pull our sources and work on this together, maybe we can crack it. And maybe they think they do crack it. Maybe there's a love triangle. They fell in love with the same woman and maybe that caused a divide between them. I hope that's not the story. I hope it's not like another love triangle like they did with Venom or whatever. But, um, but you know, it would be interesting to see how they, they pull this off. But uh, it looks like that may be the case with Matt Smith. He's going to be playing Losius uh, Crown and that will be the villain of the storyline. So that could be pretty cool. I mean, I, I know Matt Smith is, you know, a lot of Doctor Who fans out there, big fans of his. I haven't seen a ton of his work. I've never really watched Doctor Who. Um, so he'll this will kind of be new for me. I think he appeared in one of the Terminator movies for like four seconds uh, or something. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing how they, how they do this. So, uh, yeah, I'm getting a little bit more excited. So this was uh, coming from Slash Film, uh, but I think Variety reported it. So I'll just put a link down below to Slash Film, and that'll link you to Variety if you want to check it out there. Um, so, yeah, and then, th again, they also mentioned that it looks like Jared Harris will be portraying Morbius' mentor. Um, so that's pretty cool. And then the last casting news is the well, one of the most recent ones, which is Tyrese Gibson from the Fast and the Furious franchise. Uh, who has been trying to play Jon Stewart, you know, in a, a Green Lantern movie and, uh, just, you know, getting out there trying to pioneer, you know, or not pioneer, but get his fans rally behind him to do that. But then I think, and I don't want to bring up personal information from this guy, but I think he had like some really hard times. It looked like some of his posts that he posts on social media looked like, you know, he was going through some, some real stuff. Uh, so, you know, I, I feel for the guy in that regard. Um, but, uh, but yeah, he was, uh, I know, I know things have been tough for him. So it's good to see that he's, he's got a role here. He's going to be working. He's going to be in this movie. Um, I hope he doesn't play the typical character he does where he's like, you know, kind of loud and like in Fast and the Furious, I'm, I'm not really a fan of like his character in particular in those movies because I feel like he could do more, you know, than what that character offers. Um, so hopefully that's the case here. Hopefully he gets to play a really interesting role. And I think he's too new cast in this. So I don't know if we know who he's playing. I think the exact, yeah, it says the exact details of who he's playing are currently unknown. So we don't know exactly what role he is um, yet. But uh, I heard some rumors that he might be like an FBI agent or he might be, you know, because obviously you're going to want to pull that in. You're going to want like some kind of someone on the street level seeing this. And so maybe he's like a cop or an FBI agent and he's, you know, heard about the Venom story. Maybe he's like a link to that. Like he's like, man, that could be neat too. If he's a recurring character, maybe he could pop up in Venom too. Um, as like the same FBI agent or something. So I don't know. I haven't heard. That's all the, that's a rumor right now. That's all I've heard, but I don't know for sure, you know, who he's playing or not, but that's neat to see that he's going to be working. He's going to be, he's going to be in this movie and all these people, um, you know, it's not like a, a crazy, like, like an intense, like when Venom, when they were announcing the cast, it was like Michelle Williams and, you know, Riz Ahmed and stuff. I remember being like, wow, that's an amazing cast. I don't have quite the same feeling here, but I, I also am not bummed out by anyone in this movie. And most of these people that are in this haven't really been in other comic book stuff outside of Jared Leto. So that's kind of cool too. It's it's kind of fresh faces mostly for this uh, for this franchise. So I hope it works out uh, for all of them, and I hope this movie does well overall. Because, you know, my interest in this level, it's just kind of meh. You know, it's like I, I don't really... It's not that I don't think Morbius could be a cool movie. I think it's a great concept looking at vampires from a scientific lens, through a scientific lens. Um, and it, it definitely is neat to see that uh, and to bring that element into a universe that will occupy the same space as Venom. 
So I'm curious. I am curious, but I'm not like overly excited, but I'm hoping I'll get more excited the more we cover this. And I'm not going to do like every update in like, you know, every, like I do with Venom vlog where, uh, you know, this show obviously, where every time a piece of news comes out, I'll make a single video on it. I might wait a month and just gather all the information from that month and do a Morbius video at the end of the month or maybe every two weeks if there's a ton of information. But we'll do trailer reactions on here. We'll do all that stuff too, uh, including showing this last bit of uh, information here. Um, I have a, two things. I think I have a video here uh, for of Jared Leto uh, at the end of his filming of the first day of Morbius. So I'll go ahead and let that play for a second. So finish the very first day of Morbius. It's pretty fun. Can't wait for you guys to uh, see what we got cooking. But so anyway, that was a, a cool little, quick little thing where you just, you know, he's being very active. He's, he's kind of hands-on on this, kind of like how Tom Hardy was with um, Venom, like where he would, you know, release some information sometimes. But Jared Leto seems to really be excited about this role. I hope it's a really great script. It, it, you know, I hope it's a, a role he could sink his teeth into, um, obviously, pun intended. But, uh, but I'm also excited to see, in a way, this character come to life. I, I kind of wanted to see him in a Blade movie or a Spider-Man movie, but to, to see him in a movie is kind of neat. So uh, I think my excitement level is rising a little bit, but this image they showed is pretty cool because this is from, the I think, the first day of filming. We have Jared Leto's image that he tweeted just the other day, uh, actually just yesterday, um, of recording this. By the time it goes up, it'll probably be a few days or a week. Uh, but he says, one week down, 11 to go. So we had the little video of him at the end of his first day of filming, and now we have a quick shot of him uh, as the character on set. But it's neat. It looks cool. Um, you get a little shot of him. You can see his kind of his eyes, his hairs kind of like wet he looks kind of sickly um and that would make sense to me um it would make sense to me with him being sickly as he's a human and then when he becomes a vampire looking way worse <laughs> like this feels like a role you really have to commit to kind of like how eddie like how uh, tom hardy really committed to eddie brock he was wacky and crazy at times and he was energetic and exhausting at times and and, and sweating and out of breath and uh he really committed to that and i feel like that's maybe a role like michael morbius should be like that where it's someone who is sickly and weird and you know like and and how and maybe like detached from humanity to a certain extent uh knows about love and feels love but but um but has this goal of curing themselves very selfish goal and then thinking oh well I'll cure myself maybe i'll cure other people i think that's the good that's in michael morbius and maybe lotion uh, crown is the opposite maybe a lotion crown maybe he's the exact opposite he wants to make more vampires and and and, and actually create an army of a new race of people uh and one guy has to stop him or something. I mean, it could be cool. I don't know. This could work. Uh, but that image, it's very simple. It's not, you know, it's not like jaw dropping, but it's still kind of cool. You get, you get a little sense of the character and he does look, he looks a little out of it to him, in my opinion. He looks like he's had a rough life so far and it's only going to get way worse after this experiment. But that's it for me. You guys let me know what you think of all this casting. We have Tyrese Gibson, uh, Jared Harris. Um, we have uh, Matt Smith and then also... Um, uh, you know, Jared Leto, obviously, Daniel Espinosa directing it, and uh, Ar Adria Arjona. I'm sorry, I had to look up her name again because uh, I, I don't, it'll it'll come to me. And once I once we do more of these videos, I'll know all these guys off the top of my you know top of my head and, and roll off my tongue. But uh, but for now, yeah, this is all the information I could find. Uh, pretty cool stuff. I think they talked about adding a new art director and people that have worked on the Venom movie and Punisher Warzone and some other things. So uh, they're crewing, they crewed up. They're filming the movie already. It's already at the end of its first week of filming, and there's 11 more weeks to go. And I believe this movie comes out early next year of 2019 or 2020, I guess next year. So um, so I'm you know I'm getting more excited. Uh, but I will promise. So you guys have been asking for me to cover this movie because it's part of the Venom universe. So we will and we'll do it here on the show. So consider this the first official video from this series you know because i know we covered it on into the venom verse and stuff like one or two episodes but for now it's going to be from now on it's going to be covered here so hopefully you guys are okay with that let me know if you're all right with an interruption from time to time on venom to talk about morbius uh let me know in the comments down below it's going to happen either way but i still want to hear your feedback um and let me know about your feedback on all this are you excited for the cast does it make you more interested and uh when are you hoping that we'll see because i'm the first trailer we're probably not going to get you know, for a while. I think they got to finish filming um, and maybe they'll put something together towards the end. So I'm thinking it's going to be May or June or July, probably Comic-Con. Maybe they'll show like a, a trailer at Comic-Con. That seems to be like a good time to do a teaser trailer um, and to get, you know, Sony at Comic-Con to promote the movie. Uh, and then at that point, we'll start hearing more Venom news too. So maybe they'll do something and talk about Venom there as well. So again, 
all this information. It's a ton. So let me know down below what you think, and we'll continue our conversation down there. Thanks so much for watching my show. As always, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff, and I'll see you in the future. Peace.